Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today to talk about the Synchrowave 212, all new to Miller that just came out here. So, um, in front of me right now is I have the uh, water cooled package from Synchro on the Synchrowave 212. So, Miller offers an air cooled package and a water cooled package. Now, if you buy the air cooled package, you can add a water cooler later on. Um, just I'll go over that, what you need to buy. But I was just going to show you guys the setup on this thing. Um, but just on the Synchrowave 212, so it's a 110 220 unit. Thing welds awesome, and we'll link that video down below because I welded AC on this thing. Awesome machine, uh, spool gun capable as well. So it does 130 amps um, at 60% duty cycle, so that's the max range, but it goes up to 210 amps output. Obviously, your duty cycle is going to be a little bit lower at that. Uh, so in the water cooled package, you get Synchro Wave water cooler, and it comes with the water cooled package kit. So you got your your water cooled TIG torch, all your stuff, your sleeve, everything. It comes with a 250 amp um, Miller torch, and then you got to put your sleeve on there and hook it all up. Not a, not too hard to do at all. Uh, what I was going to show you though here is just how this thing is easy to plug in and set up. So, like I said, it's two different packages. Um, but when you go and you say you buy an air cooled unit and you want to add a water cooled water cooler to it. Uh, you'll we'll link all the numbers down below. But you're gonna add this water cooler, a water cooled TIG torch, but very simple to do. So I'm gonna turn it sideways. This thing holds a gallon. It's new to Miller too. It's it's the one S Coolmate uh, thing. Pumps water up to 250 amps. Water cool it, so it'll cool your torch. So this thing just sits right up here in the pocket, basically right just like that. Fits perfectly, and then your water cooler comes with a. So you don't have to have an external plug. It'll plug right into your sinker wave, which is really nice. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with um, the older style units. They used to have a Dynasty 200, and you had to have it plugged into 110, and then the machine plugged into 220. So this one, it just all plugs into itself, just like that. And then you got your, so it's power, and the machine is power in your water cooler, no external plug. I'll show you guys how to just plug this in real quick here. And I'll uh, turn it on for you. So that plugs right in. You were plugged in. So on the back here, gas solenoid. Hook your uh, gas up to the front here, and we'll flip it around. I'll show you on the front of it. So on the front of the unit, basically your water out and your water in, um, and then your water tank right here, and then your TIG, your TIG torch and ground clamp connect up here. So you got to hook your water lines to that, and then your gas line has got to through the gas port on your uh, DINS connector. Pretty simple, I'll just turn it on. And it should recognize that the water cooler is on there. Plug it in here. So we'll see a, uh, yeah, we got an AC TIG right now. Oh, there it goes. So there, there's our output. And it, uh, now it recognized that the water cooler is plugged in, so it turned it on. But we got no water in there. I'll just shut it. I'll just unplug it real quick. So I just unplugged the water cooler there. I just wanted to show you that it recognizes that it's on there. It puts power to it. See, there's no external plug for that thing into the machine. Now this thing will fit, and we'll put it down below too. The cart that goes on it is the standard cart for basically the 220, um, and both of these fit on that cart. Um, so it should all fit right on there with the cooler, the 212. And then obviously you got to put your old kit together. But like I said, there's two different packages, air cooled and water cooled. Um, and then obviously one with a cart as well. So one of our biggest questions out there is why do I want a water cooler versus an air cooled TIG torch, right? So in my opinion, water cooled TIG torches last longer, the consumable life lasts longer. Uh, you get a lot longer longevity on everything consumable wise, TIG torch wise. Um, I like them a lot better. You can run a lot longer. So air-cooled TIG torches, they give you 150 amp in the air-cooled package. And if anybody's ever welded with an air-cooled TIG torch, they weld great until they get hot. And that means when that thing gets hot, that means it's probably time to let that thing cool down. So there's no water. Now this thing, water-cooled, it's water circulating past that head, past the whole power lead. It's cooling the whole torch, the whole system staying cooler. You can stay on the welds longer. It's a little bit more money to go to the water pool, but it's it's a much better system altogether as going to a water pool versus an air pool. I know a lot of people they, they they say, well, I don't I don't want to add all this on there. It's a bunch of stuff. I just want to do air cool. Uh, 
Um, but I see a lot of people coming back and adding water coolers because they want that longevity. They want a smaller TIG torch. They want to add some stuff to it. So it's pretty nice. So in the line of everything, like you could, this would be one step above the Multimatic 220. And then you go Synchrowave 212. And then obviously the step up from this is the Dynasty um, series, which is a, a little bit more money than the Synchrowave series. Um, but this is more cost prohibitive on everything. So you got the 220, the 212 in the middle, and then you got your Dynasty series. But yeah, if you guys got any questions or comments on these water coolers and how to add them on, please leave everything down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.